All right, guys, here it is, the fastest Google AdWords campaign set up. Let's start with a search network only campaign and choose all features. And let's pick a name, just a generic name for this example. Let's just call it search. What we're going to do now is we're going to choose uh, geographic targeting. We can leave everything else as is. Again, we're going for the fastest setup. So in this example, uh, we're going to go with just Houston. And we are going to specifically target people in uh, the location that we are targeting, not people interested. So that's an important edit to change. And as we discussed in the podcast, we will use automatic bidding. So we're going to go with maximize clicks. Going to leave the maximum CPC turned off and we're just going to put a budget of uh, about $300 a month. We will work on the ad extensions a little bit later, so we'll skip that for now. And we'll make some changes to the ad scheduling. I'm going to choose uh, weekdays and we're going to do uh, 6 a.m to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now, we'll leave this set and pretty much everything is as is, so we're ready to continue. Now, our very first ad group. So, as we discussed in the podcast, we will start with a uh, basic service for this example we're going with a plumber a tankless water heater and we're going to take the landing page that we're going to use the the page right on the website um, and paste it right into the final URL now we scroll down and you'll see AdWords will use that final URL to populate the keyword suggestions We add some keywords based on uh, the core topic that we are trying to bring people to the site about. So make sure when you choose keywords, uh, we are choosing things that are um, exactly targeting um, what it is that we're trying to bring people to the site for. So don't go too crazy. There's a lot of options here, a lot of different keywords, and we um, want to make sure that they are all targeted and specific. We don't need uh, a whole lot. So just click through, look through, find some things that you like and choose those keywords. Now in this example, I didn't find a whole lot of keywords that I liked. So I just went with uh, a few that I made up on my own. That's a possibility, but uh, you know this is this is just an example. You'll you'll know a little bit more about your individual client and what keywords to choose. So the next step now is to choose um, which keyword should be modified broad. And we're adding pluses to some of the important parts of these keywords. So tankless and then install. Those are the most important ones. So now we're ready to go, ready to um, build the ad. You see, I accidentally clicked uh, set up billing later. I forgot to write my ad. So I'm going to copy and paste some pre-written ads that I have here. There we go. There's some simple ads for this example. You can see the, the ad there. And now we're ready to go. We've got a couple keywords in here. Again, for, for uh, your campaign, you might want to go with 10, 15 keywords. Um, you know, in this example, I just have three to keep uh, things short and easy. But after we've done that, we build another ad group and the exact same thing happens. 
name the ad group. And we're going to grab a URL of the page that we're going to use. We're going to paste that in there. Once we paste that, Google goes back and gives us updated keywords. All right. So let's grab some of these. Again, this is just a uh, basic plumbing keywords, plumbing companies, plumbing services, you know, some obvious keywords. We're going after a quick setup, so we're not going to be doing any keyword research. We're avoiding having to spend, you know, hours building out the framework of a campaign, choosing individual ad groups with different micro topics and stuff like that. This is a keyword um, research lists AdWords setup. So now I'm adding pluses to each of the core terms. So in this example, Houston and plumbing, that's what I consider to be most important in these terms. So I'm adding Houston and plumbing has modified broad aspects of those keywords. I've got my ad ready to go. So I copy and paste it in here. There we go. So we've got uh, an ad, a desktop, and a mobile version automatically created. So it all looks good. Now we've got our second ad group, and we've spent all of about seven minutes so far doing this, and we're almost done. Fastest ad AdWord setup ever. So now another basic component is negative keywords. I already have a couple uh, ideas of what I want to do. So I'm going to copy and paste those in there. Pictures, jobs, career, salary, DIY, stuff like that. I'm not looking for people to do this on their own. I'm looking uh, for people who want to hire a company to do it. So there will be more negative keywords as we start building out um, these campaigns. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to, going to create a second ad and make changes to that ad so we can have two ads to rotate. So I copy and paste that ad. And I'm going to make a small change. All right, this is not a... Um, a major change in the in the ad copy you see I only changed the headline the number one headline and that's it I'm gonna do the same thing with the uh, water heater ad group I'm going to copy and paste in another ad make a small change to that ad as well and now I've got two ads to rotate so what we'll do from here is as the weeks and months go by, you can make changes to these ads and continue to optimize for click-through rates. So again, very quick, easy way to make a couple ads. Want to at least have uh, something for Google to test against for A-B testing. All right, so I've got a couple ads. I've got keywords. Now let's go with a very important aspect, call extension and the other ad extensions. So at the ad extensions tab, I drop down, go to call extensions, scroll down a little bit and add a phone number. I'm not going to put the actual phone number here. I'll just make up a phone number. It's a Houston area code. So that works. So we have call tracking turned on and uh, everything else we'll leave as default. Moving into just under 10 minutes so far and we're almost finished. All right, there is our call extension. Now another important aspect is site links. Let's 
create a couple site links. I have these already chosen which ones I want to do. So I create a site link. And as we discussed in the podcast, let's leave the description off. That'll save us a little bit of time. You don't have to add a description. So we'll just add the uh, text link, leave the description blank, and that's it. Save it. Now we want to add uh, a couple of these. So here's another. I'll create a second one. Now keep in mind the reason to have site links um, is to advertise additional services that are much like what you are already advertising. You don't want to copy what you already put. You notice these are each individual links that are separate from what we are advertising. So be sure and create unique links for each of those. Next, we move to call out. Call outs are small text that's shown in addition to the uh, ad copy, typically below the ad. Small uh, snippets that basically uh, isolate what might be unique about this service provider. Add a couple of these. Now we've got three. That should be good. Great. Now we've got basic ad extension set. We've got keywords with modified broad. We've got negative keywords. We've got ads and ads to rotate between two uh, for each of the ad groups. We've got automatic bidding set for each of our ad groups. And that's it. You have now created an AdWords campaign with a set budget, automatic bidding, couple of ads, ad extensions and keywords and negative keywords all in about 10 minutes. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you'd like to see more videos behind the scenes, after the show videos, stuff like that from the Paid Search Podcast. And you uh, can always catch us uh, Mondays on paysearchpodcast.com. Listen in for Jason and Chris as we discuss Google AdWords tips and strategies. Thanks for watching.